Knee replacements have been around for a very long time, and traditionally that has been one of the most successful surgeries ever invented. So in one sense, they're not really reinventing the wheel, which is good, because when we start doing things that are too radical, then that's when we open ourselves up in terms of orthopedic surgeons and industry to problems. And I've seen in the short, in the relatively short period of time, I've been uh, an orthopedic surgeon now for about 14 years, I've seen a lot of products come in and go out just as fast as they came in. And the nice thing about the conformist knee is that it's building on existing technology, but then making an improvement. So it is a radical difference in terms of the fit, the way that it's performed, but it also has built on technology that's been around for a long time. So that gives me the confidence that we're not going to have issues that have been plaguing other particular implants over the, over the course of time. The measures that I look for to grade myself are things like flexion level, extension level, and what the x-rays look like. So from those standpoints, I've seen tremendous increases in satisfaction from my standpoint. So the x-rays, I think, look better because I'm not having problems of overhang of a component, underhang of a component. I'm not worried about notching the femur, which is a particular problem in undersizing an implant. So the x-rays certainly look more natural. The knee, the knee implant actually fits better. From the patient's perspective, measuring some objective measures of the patient, I've noted on average an improvement in range of motion of the patient. In terms of patient satisfaction, I think once that the patient understands what they're getting, that they're getting a knee replacement that's actually built for them, I think that automatically improves their satisfaction level right there. And in our particular patients, on average, we've noted a much higher satisfaction rate as reported to us by the patient. I can tell you this, on average, our patients I'm finding are doing better with the conformist knee than with an off-the-shelf brand, on average. One particular patient that I can think of off the top of my head, she returned to work after three weeks and came into our office with a normal gait and no limp, uh, not utilizing a cane or a crutch or anything, and she was, she was actually we did both of her knees ultimately, uh, but her first knee was an extraordinary procedure for us because of the difference that we saw uh, in the patient's recovery and how her satisfaction was. For young active patients that are candidates for the conformist knee replacement, yes, it is my standard at this point. I do think that the customization that's allowed is better for the patient and the recovery that I've seen from those particular patients uh, has really changed my opinion of who is who does well with what particular knee replacement. I certainly think that patient specific is better. It seems to me to be common sense that putting something in me that is closely shaped to me is much better than something that's shaped to fit a population of people rather than me specifically. And I think that's something that is new, is here to stay, and is the future of joint replacement.